Hi again, everyone. I have a question here from Suzanne. And I was going to do another baby boomer video. I wasn't sure exactly on what because I've been getting so many comments and questions about it and actually people asking to be on podcast um, to talk about for me to talk about baby boomers and narcissism. But I got this message here. And I thought it would be worthy of a video. <clears throat> if I'm following you correctly, you are saying that baby boomers were raised according to the principles of rules for radicals. While I agree that rules for radicals is a way to use narcissistic principles for control and manipulation, the fact that it was published in 71 doesn't allow those people born from 46 to 64 to be raised by that book. Those born in 1946 were 25 years old when it was published. Those in 64 were seven. More to the point, there have been there have been narcissists in every past generation and culture, including children abusing other children. Even if you believe that narcissists are created, it doesn't explain why some people choose not to be like the narcissist. They chose not to control and manipulate. It seems to be deeper than what we are taught or abused or abused into. Okay, but you're assuming that the day Rules for Radicals in 1971 was released, that it was like handed out and started and started being taught. No, it wasn't. I, I don't believe I said Rules for Radicals was a guidebook for the baby boomers. What I said was that what I believe I said, it was a guidebook for societal narcissism. And what you're describing, the 46 to 64, where the people where the people most affected, I love the ghetto, where the people most affected, what I'm talking about, baby boomers are between the ages of seven and twenty-five. I mean, that is the exact age where you want to start. You gotta remember, you're already coming out of the radical 1960s where all the baby boomers doing drugs, diving in the mud, calling Vietnam veterans baby killers. You know, we had bombings here. We had the Vietnam War going on. We had tons and tons of shit. The condition was already set. So now you drop this book in there. And I'm not saying this book wasn't, you know, widely spread around back then. But you don't go from zero to, you don't go from zero to 200 miles an hour instantaneously. There is a buildup to that. All I'm saying about Rules for Radicals is it was the, it's the starting point, and it's basically the guidebook for societal narcissism. I mean, who else would you give this to? I mean, it, I don't know if you're a baby boomer or not. I'm assuming you are if you're writing if you're writing this to me. And look, it's a hard reality to have to deal with when you realize your entire generation is screwed up. I'm not saying every person in the generator. I got plenty of baby boomers who subscribe to me and and I work with. I'm not saying it's every baby boomer. My focus was more along the lines of how it's affected their the baby boomers' children, Generation X, negatively. I mean, it's not like in 1971, it's like, oh, you know, there's this lever that, that got switched and now we're... These are slow, long buildups. And if you watch my, my other videos on baby boomers, I've been saying that the entire time. You don't just crash an economy and you don't just crash, crash a society overnight. It takes decades and decades and decades to do. When you say, even if you believe that narcissists are created, it doesn't explain why some people choose not to be like the narcissist. Well, that's assuming that every single human being is a blank slate and will end up the same way. Every human reacts to things differently. Every sort of emotion and every sort of interaction they're going, so some are going to like it, some are going to realize it's wrong, and some are going to continue to do it and make that choice in order to do it. That's what the baby boom, that, I mean, that's basically where we were with the baby boomers. You know, 
to try to say, well, since the book was written in 1971, it's not really for, I mean, you're assuming a lot that, that this book is like a Bible that everybody was forced to read and study and know it cover to cover. No, that's not even how the book works. That's not even how the book works. All of this is through underhanded gaslighting, through manipulation, through mocking, through demonization, and through name calling. All of it. So if you have a generation from the ages of seven to seventy-five to, to seven to twenty-five that represents pretty much as young as you can go remembering as a child to your mid-20s where in 1971 people were out in the workforce having children, starting a family, they already had families. That is a large generation to work with. A large generation to work with. And it all was built societally. It was all built incrementally as law after law after regulation after regulation was passed down by these people. I understand it's a hard thing to have to have to come to terms with that to believe that a whole generation was basically used to destroy a second generation. Also, you can turn a third generation into a bunch of entitled snowflakes dependent on the government. That's what's happened. And that's what Rules of Radicals, if you read the book, states. It's because a book is, especially in 19, when you consider 1971, there's no internet. There's no 24-hour news cycles. What were there, four channels, five channels on, on, on basic television back then? There was no way to spread it that quickly. So I, I think you're probably getting hung up on you know, you, to use the argument you're using, you're broad brushing, just human nature in general. Okay? And to say that somebody at 25 isn't going to be influenced by rules of radicals, well, how many 25-year-olds were jumping in the mud in the 60s, in the, in the early 70s? How many? I mean, that's not an out-of-range out of age. That's the age you want them, young impressionable parents who are already self-radicalized. So let's create this book, this Bible, to send society down the rabbit hole, which is basically where we are now. So you always have to remember when you look at anything to not broad brush any group or any instance or any human behavior. You got to look at it as a whole to just point out what year the book was released in the early 70s and to say that the baby boomers at their oldest were at age were 25, but at the youngest they're at age seven. I mean, I don't think rules for radicals was ending up on, on gift registries back then or anything. It wasn't a nursery rhyme. All this took a lot of time, it took decades, and they knew it, and that's by design. You can't just change things instantaneously. People fuck, freak the fuck out. But you do it slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly. And then you look up years later and you don't even know how you got here. That's the danger of broad brushing and in narcissism and in anything. And especially with baby boomers. Because if there's one thing that a baby boomer loves to do. It's broad brush a situation. Same with narcissists. Funny how that works out, huh? So thank you for your question. Um, I tried to keep it a little nicer this time on the baby boomers, not to call you all a bunch of selfish assholes. But, because I know you're not. I have plenty of you that subscribe to you. And I think most of you realize I'm not saying if you're a baby boomer, you're just automatically a fuckwad. I believe you all are smart enough to figure that out. Most of you. But I still get the ones that still try to bait me. 70 year olds try to bait me. Other than my father. <laughs> so, 
go figure. But thank you for your question. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, or you'd like to set up a private Skype chat or a private private video made, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. I'll have the video right back to you. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye.